L believes dogs are a man's best friend. Dogs, they don't care uh, if you had a bad day or a good day. They come home, they love you no matter what. Mike and his dog Dakota are extremely close, especially since Mike just moved here less than a year ago and doesn't have too many friends. When I leave, he'll start howling because I guess he misses me. Mike says the two are even closer now, especially after flying together for the first time on United Airlines Saturday night from Washington, D.C. Two and a half hours in the, in the flight, I'm enjoying the, the flight and everything. And all of a sudden, um, a flight attendant knocked, tapped on my shoulder and said, the pilot would like to talk to you about your dog. And he was saying, I don't know if your dog is alive or not. Uh, if we continue on in San Jose, your dog will not make it. The 10-year-old Basenji was mistakenly placed in the unheated hold of the cargo, a place typically only for baggage. So the plane made an unscheduled stop in Denver to get the dog. Many airlines have decided not to handle pets as baggage over the summer months. But United does allow pets in the cargo area since there is generally better air quality control. And Mike is just thankful he found Dakota alive. I was relieved. Um, he's a strong, apparently he must be, a, he's a strong dog. He's ten and a half years old, and, but he must have a strong heart. Sit. Strong heart indeed, but when Mike went to get him, Dakota was shaking since he was in the carrier and in freezing temperatures. But is that enough to keep both of them off the friendly skies? If I do move back, back east, I was thinking about, I think I might drive next time. Monica Gomez, News Channel 11.